today we're going to tackle another question in tachometric surveying and I'm going to use an example uh, provided uh, to the learners of certificate uh, in land surveying a uh, land surveying theory so this is a June July 2021 series uh, so this is a neck paper done by the certificate in land survey learners so here I had gotten a good example uh, of a question uh, which you can relate to uh, as you had remembered earlier so the geometric is a branch of survey in which horizontal and vertical distance are determined by taking angular observation with an instrument known as a tachometer and if we don't have a tachometer we can use a theodolite fitted with an analytic lens uh, so let's go directly to the question so this question number three i uh, will provide uh, a link to where you can download this question papers of neck uh, you can pass through them and you can learn something from them so the the observations shown in table three were taken with a theodolite fitted with analytic lens to a vertically held staff if the reduced level of a is 1895.613 meters calculate the gradient of bc so that is the gradient of both the staff stations 20 marks wow so that is a good mark for a simple calculation so here in table 3 we have instrument station a staff station b and c horizontal angle for b and for c vertical circle reading for b and c then we have the study hair reading top mid so here too we are being given readings from two cross hairs and as per your knowledge we are supposed to have three cross hair in that question uh, so uh, you find the difference between those two it will give you the lower reading so we are going to see that in the calculation uh, so let's go to the example i had already calculated in order for us not to waste a lot of time so here in the vertical uh, circle reading we are supposed to change that into vertical angle so we are supposed to have a vertical angle horizontal angle but not vertical circle reading so this vertical circle reading represents the whole circle bearing in the vertical axis of the instrument so from station a to staff station b we are given a vertical circle reading of uh, 274 degrees 30 minutes 30 seconds uh, by using the compass uh, we move from the cardinal point so the true north clockwise to where our value is so from the north uh, in a clockwise direction we move to where we are given the vertical circle reading of b so this is 274 so that is in the third quadrant of the compass we find the difference in order to get the value that is within this axis of the tachometric of the tachometer fitted the analytic lens so that is the tachometric instrument so the instrument is on a straight ground so if you had set up the instrument so the instrument should be aligned so if the instrument is aligned and this vertical circle reading is gotten so we subtract the value that we have to the line which is straight perpendicular to the instrument that we have so the difference between the two is what is going to give us the vertical circle reading and the difference between the two so uh here is 90 180 when you add another 90 the answer will be to 70 so to 70 
is the angle which is found aligned the axis of the instrument so the axis of the telescope so when you subtract we get a positive 4 degrees 30 minutes 30 seconds and we come to the next point so from a to c we have 2 67 25 15 uh, having that value so that value is slower so when you go in the clockwise direction so to see the value will be lower than the value that we had calculated so here it is to 70 that is the angle which is parallel to the axis of the telescope and if we subtract that angle uh, that will be to 70 so here we have a negative so we moved below so this is 267 25 15 minus 270 degrees uh, from the calculator we obtain that is a negative 2 then we have a 34 minutes and 45 seconds so these two are the values of the vertical angles that we are supposed to use in our calculations uh, we come and we we draw so me i love to draw just a little bit in order for you to understand where those points are so when you draw our instrument fix that instrument so that is station a uh, so when you view uh, the stuff reading in b so in b here so a to b is a positive so the instrument was inclined so that means b is somewhere on top so the ground level of a is below for b is on top then we move to a to c so with the negative it shows the instrument was declined so the instrument uh, was in a position downwards so from here so it means c the staff reading was at a level that was below the ground level of a so i just draw the instrument and the staff stations both of them here then from the knowledge that you have uh, using the line of collimation or line of axis which is parallel so this line of axis to the reading to the middle reading that we always obtain so the value that we have been given to the middle so that will be v so that will be the vertical distance that we are calculated then from the middle reading to the bottom of the stuff that will be r or in other terms other books they use an initial of h for a small height so the same here from a to b um, where our axis cuts the ground to the mid reading so the mid cross here that will be v then from the mid to the bottom of the staff that will be r or h so here will be horizontal distance from c to a and horizontal distance from a to b uh, having learned that we move to the next section so let's go and find the distance between c and a so that i have labeled in the calculation that will be d1 representing the horizontal distance between the two from our calculation and here we were told it was fitted with an analytic lens so i simplify the equation i remove the value for c because if the instrument was fitted with an analytic lens from our formula if we had here a plus c the c is zero so any number multiplied by zero will be zero so I, i've eliminated the c because i'm not using it here because the theodolite was fitted with analytic lens so i simplify the equation i only remain with k s cos theta so cos squared theta that is the formula that i'm going to use k is the constant that we were given there so the constant of an instrument fitted in an analytic lens k will be represented by 
100 so i multiply k times s so s is the staff intercept so the difference between the upper reading and the lower reading so the bottom and the top readings so that will be represented by s so s is that uh, so that is the staff intercept and from our data that we had there we were only given the stadia we were only given the stadia so those was the crosshair so we only given the stadia reading of only two points so those stadia readings of two points we had the top and we had the middle so here we come if we're given the top and the middle and this is a Ah, so the difference in the top and the middle so here we have 3.19 and here we have 2.395 so the difference between those two will be the same difference between the middle and the bottom because this is a fixed hair so here the hairs are mode are not movable so if you had discussed so this is a fixed hair um tachometric so here the cross hair should have a constant so the difference between those two so when you subtract 3.19 and 2.395 you will get 0.792 and this is the same difference that we are supposed to have from the middle to the bottom so if that difference is the same i go ahead and multiply by two and i find the s so that is the staff intercept the difference between the top and the middle so th the difference between these two will be so i've multiplied by two and in the calculator so the answer will be 1.59 then i multiply by cos squared the angle that we had gotten there so from a to c we had a negative so but i'm not going to write a negative here i'm just going to write directly the angle so the negative was to show us the point to east has an in so it has declined uh so cos squared theta so the theta is 2 34 45 if you use your calculator so here you go ahead and so in the calculator you press cos 2 degrees 34 minutes 45 seconds then the answer that you get you square it in order to find the answer so here down i've gone so 100 times the answer that we have gotten here times the answer that we have gotten here and our answer so the horizontal distance is 158.68 so that is the horizontal distance between a and c then move to the horizontal distance between a and b which is an inclined so a and b so the same formula we are going to use in order to find the distance from a to b that will be d2 in the diagram there so d2 will have it so the horizontal distance between those two so k s cos theta squared the same here we do the middle and the top the difference in the two times two and we get the study intercept so 100 times 1.08 times this will be cos 4 degrees 30 minutes 30 seconds then our answer we square it so the final answer will be 107.33 that will be our final answer there um then we move to the next so here our question we were required to find the gradient of b and c in order for us to find the gradient between a and b a and b and c we first have to find the horizontal distance then we have to find the reduced levels because in order for you us to get the gradient of b c we need to find the distance vertically and horizontal in order for us to come to our answer so when you have gotten the distance between a and b a and c 
so this so a to b that will be 107.33 and then a so a to b will be that a to c will be 158.93 so 68 so that will be 58.68 having gotten that we come back to our table that we had here we were told we had a horizontal angle so from a to b we have a horizontal angle of 25 degrees 30 15 then from a to c we have 75 degrees 25 30 so these are the horizontal angles so the horizontal angle that is the angle from this instrument horizontally so around the this instrument so when you when you are at the ground level and you go around so when the instrument is rotated so it is rotated on the horizontal axis and not on the vertical axis those will be the readings that you have gotten so we come here and we find the difference between those two in order for us to find the angle that was between those two points so we come we move from the true north clockwise direction so if from a to b was 25 degrees then from a so a to b was 25 a to c was 75 the difference between those two angles so 75 25 30 minus 25 30 15 will find the angle difference between these two points so the difference angle between these two points will be 49 55 15 you can use the calculator to simplify your work so the difference between these two angles will be used here so we have the distance between these two so we are supposed to define the distance between a so the distance between b and c how you come to a simple mathematical formula mostly used in high schools so you can go back and revise that so here we come across there's a formula in trigonometrical so that formula is found in math i used it so the square root in the distance so the square root of the distance b c will be equal to the square root of the distance a b plus the square root of the distance a c minus two times the distance a b times the distance of so it is 2 times the distance of a c times the distance of a b then times cos theta so the angle here that we have gotten cos the angle so here is just the calculation so when you multiply all of this and you remember mostly this section here is in brackets so you can find the the angle so the distance here the total then you subtract by the total here then you find the square root because here we have bc squared so our answer will have to find the square root and here after finding all that the calculation so bc will be 112 52 so this is 112.525 so the distance between b and c will be that so if you have gotten the distance between those that will will help us later when you are going to calculate the horizontal um, readings and the reduced levels so after having done that here we go back so I just had this question in most calculation they assume but that is not practical so me I had to assume uh, instrument height of 1.5 meters because when you look back to the question you are not given that instrument uh, so the height of instrument we are not giving it and I didn't want to eliminate it I just wanted to my calculation to be as accurate as possible but I found some to eliminate the HI and they calculate and they find the answer 
I don't know if that is practical but maybe who am I to judge so but here is what you are going to do so the reduced level of C the reduced level of C uh, and when you go back to the diagram it will help us so the reduced level of C is what we want to calculate and in the question we are given the reduced level of A so from here A we need to come up to C so here at A we are given a reduced level of 1895.613 so the reduced level is at the bottom of the instrument so that is the height above C level that we are given there so in order for us to reach C we have to go back to the height of instrument so when you add the reduced level of a plus the height of instrument you go up to the line of axis you subtract the vertical distance then you subtract the r or the height so from the middle to the bottom of the staff and you will get your final answer as the reduced level of c having look at that diagram let's go back to the calculation when you see uh, so in our calculation the reduced level of c so that will be so the height so the reduced level of a plus the height of instrument minus the vertical distance minus r or in other books minus h so we are given the reduced level here plus the height of instrument which i assumed minus v so v is the vertical distance and the formula of finding the vertical distance of analytic lens will be a half ks times sin 2 theta so a half times 100 times s we had gotten earlier so s for uh, substation c so that is the study intercept uh, times sin 2 theta so the so we find the angle the sin angle first and then our answer we multiply by 2 so after having done that the v will be 7.1 five five so that will be the vertical distance we come back and we place it here so this will be 1895.613 plus the height of instrument which is 1.5 minus v the vertical distance which is 7.155 minus r so r that is the mid reading to the bottom of the staff that is 3.34 and this reading is found in the table so don't confuse and ask where these things coming from the reading is in the table so you go back to your table and the reading is there so you don't have to reason a lot where these things were gotten from uh when you move so our final answer so the reduced level of c will be 18 hundred and eighty six point six one three so we go back to the reduced level of b and i love to use the diagram because that is the simplest way in which you can understand these questions when you move to that so from a to b we are given the reduced level of a so we go back we use the line of axis to so reduce level of a plus the height of instrument we move with the line of axis to where our point is v so we add v which is the vertical distance we reach the middle reading then we subtract the middle reading in order for us to find the reduced level which is found on the bottom of the stuff uh, how we go back so the important thing is for you just to keep on understanding the diagram the diagram is easy you don't even need the formulas if you have the diagram the formulas will come automatically so here at b is the reduced level of a plus the height of instrument plus v then minus r so given the data so we calculate for v the same that we are done on top there when you subtract the middle so this value is on the table you go back to the table and our final answer will be uh, 1000 903.205 so that answer is correct because that reduced level is bigger than for a 
so it shows you our reading is correct we go to the final we have to calculate the gradient so i've drawn here a little graph to represent the gradient that we were supposed to have so we had a point c which was below and we had a point b so represented in the graph below so we find the difference in the uh, y-axis on the x-axis and that will give us the gradient so here we come so the reduced level of c will, will represent the section with the vertical so the vertical the verticality of the ground will be represented by the reduced the difference in the reduced levels between those two points and the horizontal distance will represent the difference in the axis below so the difference in the two are uh, minus the difference so the the difference we are uh, we had calculated so this 121.52 we had calculated it earlier there when you go to the distance between b and c here so the distance between b and c we had calculated it so that is the difference between those two points that is the horizontal distance between those two points so when you come to the gradient so the difference between so here the reduced level is 1903.207 minus 1886.6 so here we get 16.59 and the last so here we only subtract zero because the difference between so th that is the difference between these two points and we'll have a value as that so when you use your calculator divisible by everything so this will be one over seven represented in a correct gradient format will be one into seven uh, that will be all in that question uh, look for more example